quick video on how to flash the VESC with Windows. Um, so a lot of people have asked this question, people with old 4.7 VESC without bootloaders, um, to make it easier, they don't have to install Linux. So basically, um, I've got a VESC on the table and 4.7 where the servo three pin output is um, or input, the next plug over is the one that we want to use. So um, what we're going to do is basically have the JSD plug that goes to the SD link, which looks like this. This is one from eBay, cost me like three bucks um, and it works perfectly fine. I'm using the first one, first pin is a 3.3 the next one is a clock pin. After that, it's the ground, and then it's a diode pin. Um, and basically, on the VESC, the pins are exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about getting confused there. I've plugged it in, so I'm going to connect it to my virtual machine. Now, I've gone onto the internet, and I've looked up a basically ST link U. Utilities, and it's the first link here. So, STW link 004. You click on that, and you scroll down and press get software. Once that's downloaded. Sorry guys. I accidentally closed my virtual machine. I'm used to a Mac, the close button is over this side, so Windows, let's uh, get rid of that. The installer is right here so basically you click on it you follow the processes to install it it will have drivers drivers inside of it they might not work if not Google drivers in there is more files but it gives you an icon desktop STM 32 link um, and you basically click on that and this is the screen now this button right here is for connecting to target you can also go target connect so there's no ST link detected. If I go to virtual machine, USB and Bluetooth and connect SD link. And then do the same thing. Then my ST link is now connected. So basically I need to upload a hex file. So what I need to do is open file and it's on my desktop so if I scroll down I'm going to use any one of these you can use the bin file but I don't recommend it um, because it doesn't have the bootloader inside of it but I've compiled um, some bits of firmware which have the bootloader built into it and I'm going to be putting on them on my website um, and I will provide a link um, to that. Um, it will be vesc.net.au slash flash. Um, and that will basically give you the file to be able to flash your VESC with latest firmware with bootloader in it already. So I'm just going to flash the firmware which I have for my hub motor. It's got the bootloader built in. Um, and then I'm just going to go here and program and verify. So it's got the file that we're uploading. You can go verify while programming or verifying after programming. I think verify, uh, verify while programming is the best option. It's what I'm pretty sure that's what the bootloader does on BLDC tool and you can keep 
restart after programming, which will restart the device. So we're going to hit start. Now my SC link is flashing, as you can see. Hopefully this all works. Okay, so memory programmed 22S um, happened in 437 milliseconds. Okay, I'm sorry, 12, 22 seconds and 437 milliseconds, that's what I'm saying. But verification, okay. So basically, I can exit out of this. Um, I can now unplug the SD link, and there was my battery was not plugged in for that. So I'll now turn my VESC on. Turn it on again because it didn't turn on. Now I'm going to do it. Through. Sorry, guys. Okay, now it's on. And as you can see, connect to Windows. I'm not going to, I'm just going to connect to my Mac because I've got the icon right here. And as you can see, it's detected VESC, USB modem, and I can click detect, and the firmware's there. I can read the configuration. Um, and the bootloader's there to test that. I'm gonna go firmware, choose firmware, okay. I'm gonna go desktop. And this is a 4.7 VESC, so I'm gonna use the 4.7 to the OS firmware, and click open, and then upload. Okay, so the upload worked perfectly fine. Wait a few seconds. And there we go, connect to Mac. There we go, verified, it's all connected. And that's it, thank you very much for watching.